Hi, my name's Alicia and I'm a content creator and beauty writer and today I'm going to talk to you about body care. I feel like the face gets a lot of love and everyone neglects the body. I actually saw a meme on Instagram because let's be honest, I'm obsessed with scrolling that said my heel looking at my face <laughs> when I buy myself another like bottle of moisturizer and I just really related to that so hard. So I'm going to take you through my body care routine because I've got it down pat, especially since we're coming into like hot girl summer, hot girl spring. The weather's warmer, we need to get our pins out, we need to show off that beautiful hydrated skin. So stay with me as I take you through my body care routine. But let's just start at the beginning. Body care shouldn't be that hard. It really shouldn't. All you really need is a cleanse, an exfoliator, a moisturizer, and then, you know, a couple of additions. Actually, that does sound quite hard. That does sound quite tedious. Oh no. So when it comes to body care for me, the first thing you have to think about is cleansing. For me personally, I look for cleansers that are high in glycerin because glycerin is a water retaining ingredient. And that is what we need, especially when it gets cold and the skin is itchy and it's dehydrated. Glycerin, it's, it's not a sexy ingredient, but it's a necessary ingredient, trust me. I'm really, really enjoying the L'Occitane shower gel at the moment. So it comes in almond and rose scented. Of course, it does have fragrance in it. So it really depends on what your body can handle. If you're kind of more sensitive, then maybe you might want to look for one that doesn't have any fragrances. Once we've cleansed, it's all about exfoliation. There's just something that is so satisfying about exfoliation exfoliation like when it comes to my face my body it just it brings me so much joy and I know a lot of people are really partial to a physical exfoliant and there's nothing wrong with that I do love a physical exfoliant but wouldn't it be great if you could combine chemical and physical together just to get even more benefits this is the medicaid retexturizing aha scrub it comes with a scrub for the shower and then a lotion and also comes with a glove that you can kind of get in and get an even deeper exfoliation in but the whole kit in total is 99 dollars. it's got a combination of physical and chemical kind of exfoliant so it's got your lactic acids but then you also have the physical exfoliant from the scrub particles and it's just going to work really gently into the skin to buff away any dead skin cells and leave your skin really even toned and beautiful I will show you what the texture looks like so it's like a white lotion but if you rub it in it is a little bit granular now you leave this on the skin for five minutes once you've washed off the scrub you want to go in and put on the lotion so this is such a beautiful texture so once you start rubbing it in it just disappears into the skin and it just feels really 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 nice the reason I love this one is because it has lactic acid, which we love, but also has salicylic acid. So it's gonna help to treat any kind of like body acne that you might have. I know for myself, like I'll get back knee, I might even get a little bit of leg acne, especially when I'm going really hard at the gym. So I really like this one. If your skin is really dry or dehydrated, I would recommend going in with a body butter. So this one from Walita is incredible. They also have a face cream version. If you do find that your face gets quite inflamed or if you've overexfoliated, I highly recommend purchasing from this brand. This particular body butter is about $32.95 and it is delicious. It is so delicious, so nice. Let's look at the texture of this. So this one is a lot thicker and it's taking longer to rub into the skin, but it feels very, very, very luxurious and it has a very light kind of shea butter fragrance. So for some key ingredients, this one has shea butter, lanolin, chamomile, beeswax. It's got all of the oils, all of the butters, just to really kind of like give you that moisture, lock it in. Especially if you have dry or dehydrated skin, a body butter is just gonna help to keep all of that moisture in and just leave your skin feeling just beautiful. Now that I moisturize, I always like to add a little bit of glow back to my body. It doesn't even matter if I'm going out. Sometimes I'll just put on a body oil because I deserve to be glowing for me. When I first got into body care a really long time ago, everything on the market was gels and creams. When I would apply it onto my skin, it wouldn't sink in, it wouldn't penetrate, and it wouldn't dry down, which meant that it would transfer onto my white clothing. So that's one of the main reasons that I love the Salt by Hendrix Body Glow Oil. This one is in blush skies, but they also have Golden Hour, and I believe it's about $39. This one's got camellia oil, apricot kernel, and jojoba oil, so it's gonna leave you feeling 
like sun kissed without actually having seen the sun. The pro to using an oil is that it won't transfer onto your clothing because it will sink in. However, one of the the downsides is that it might separate. So especially this one, I'll need to shake it up before I use it on my skin, but I will put some on, not like I'm going anywhere. I'm in lockdown. And when I go out for my third walk of the day, I can be glowing for all of the bypasses. I've got my glow on, I'm feeling good. Now this is the final part of my body care routine. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting. I've told a few people what I do and they're like, but why? And I'm like, but why not? If you're not using a heel balm or a heel cream or a foot cream of some sort, you're really doing your life wrong and you need to reevaluate everything, especially if you like running like me or if you are going on a million walks a day like me, then the impact from the concrete is going to make the bottom surface of your skin really hard, which is where a foot cream comes in handy. This is one from the chemistry brand. It's about $30. It is so nice. It has a peppermint smell. It just sinks in really, really, really beautifully. I'll pop it on before I go to bed. I'll wear fluffy socks and then I'll wake up the next day and my heels and my feet are softer. There is one more thing that I haven't talked about. Whenever you pop SPF on your face, you need to put SPF on your body. We all know the sun's rays are really strong, especially as we are getting into warmer months and we don't want to be burnt. Just like we would take care of our face, we need to take care of our body, especially the neck area, because that's kind of where the first signs of aging will show. I personally love a sunscreen that's really lightweight, that will sink in. Um, I don't really like anything tinted. I don't mind a light fragrance, but you need to find a sunscreen that's gonna work for you because anytime someone asks me for a sunscreen recommendation, I always say, it's whatever sunscreen that you're gonna wear day in and day out. You really need to find one that you like that's gonna play well with your skin type. And whatever that is, buy it in bulk. So for me, it would be obviously the neck right now and then the arms. And if I was in shorts, I'd pop some on my legs as well and then make sure I reapply every couple of hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was my first video. I hope you got some useful tips and tricks and that you pick up a heel balm. Tell me in the comments below what type of body care you're using, what you're loving at the moment. There's so much out there. So I'd love to hear what you guys are incorporating and maybe it will inspire me to add something else into my routine. Until then, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye.